Hello, good afternoon. This is Osamu Akbaishi from Zen Ideas. Now, I want to talk about SEO for WordPress, search engine optimization, how to rank high on Google. But this content is specific for volunteer organizations who promote volunteers. So this is based on this content is based on my my uh, my own project. I helped volunteer Ottawa uh, here in Canada. This is a part of a kind of case study. So now when you search volunteer in Ottawa, so their website goes on the top ranking on Google, right? And also like well, if you type volunteer in Ottawa, their website goes on the high number one on Google. Now, what about the volunteer opportunities, Ottawa? They got on number one. Now, what about volunteer opportunity, Ottawa for youth? Now, it's not really a number one, so they go to actually number two here. It's so number two on Google. And what about some people probably search volunteer opportunities in Ottawa for high school students. Once again, their website is going to be number two, but which is okay. Now, the volunteer organization or volunteer center for promoting volunteers, they have a quite good advantage. Unlike, so let's say fitness center or yoga studio in Ottawa, uh, you're going to be competing with lots of people, lots of organizations, lots of companies, but mostly uh, here in Ottawa, for example, so Volunteer Ottawa, that's a volunteer center, is only one. So they got to be always number one uh, for volunteer uh, promoters. Now, but the for, especially for nonprofit organizations, uh, lots of people don't really know how to optimize web content. Now, there's lots of things we can talk about but I, I pick those five things to do uh, so that uh, you can actually uh, implement. So you don't have to wait for, for weeks or months. Uh, you can actually implement easily like today or tomorrow. So let's talk about this. So the first thing is we got to be talking about optimizing slug. Now the slug is like on the top here. You see the URL. If you use WordPress, so when you, you put title on the post or page, automatically it generates slug right here. So in this case, it says I'll be available for hire next week if the rest of the Chewbacca body goes up for sale. So it's automatically put like this. And then what you want to do is you want to eliminate those kind of unnecessary words like B, for, if the of the four something like that maybe in, in this case like up you know you don't probably need to do that so i give you some good example the good example is like this so this the web title shows three content marketing best practice that small business should ignore and when you look at right here on the slug it's a content marketing best practices all right, so they eliminate those unnecessary uh, words. All right, so this is a kind of good practice. I show you demo how you can do this with WordPress. It's quite easy. All right, so let's go to WordPress backend. And here's a post. I'm going to uh, create a new. And I'm going to put the title, for example, you know, how to earn 40 hours of volunteering in Ontario. And then, uh, so let's just let's put the fake text here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just hit publish. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna just go to uh, visit post. All right, so this is the article here. And then uh, as you can see here, you see how to earn 40 hours of volunteering in Ontario. All right, so you can actually edit that. So right here, you see permalink, hit edit, so you can change. So let's say I'm going to uh, maybe, uh, so you don't need like all 40 hours volunteer 
Like you can say just earn 40 hours volunteering. You know, you probably don't need in. You probably want to keep Ontario because uh, Ontario uh, province, uh, people are looking for it. That's kind of requirement for high school student. Uh, maybe you know if you want to really optimize that because this is uh, this content is going to be like youth or high school and then you can just uh, put uh, 40 hours volunteering uh, as Ontario uh, like high school students right you can put that and hit OK and uh, hit update And then, so let's just uh, visit the post again. All right, so you can see it changed right here. Okay, so that's how you do it. It's really easy to do. So that was how to edit uh, slug, so optimizing slug. So that's it. So you can do that like today, right? Go through your post or pages. Uh, yeah, just uh, go in and hit edit and optimize. So that's number one. Now, next one is keyword density. So many SEOs recommend including one keyword per roughly 200 words of copy. In other words, if a website consists of a single 200 paragraph, it should contain no more than one keyword. Again, there is no really a set stone rule, um, but this is kind of gives you a, the rough idea. Now I give you some good example here. So this is uh, another kind of web page. So this is not really a uh, volunteer organ organizer or promoter, but uh, this is talk about, they're talking about the best volunteer groups in Ottawa. And then, uh, so when you type or when you Google search, uh, volunteer opportunities or volunteer Ottawa, uh, they go and the ranking is going to be two or three pretty high. And then let's take a quick look here. So volunteer, so they have like over 100 keywords here. So what about um, volunteer for youth? So get the five. Yeah, they got lots of content here, obviously. And what about uh, high school? Student, yeah, so they have like two keyword. What about uh, students? Okay, so there's only one here. And what about uh, Ottawa? So there's a lot of keyword here, including those uh, email address and contact information, uh, names and stuff. Uh, one more last thing, what about uh, opportunities? So they have seven, sorry, uh, seven keywords. So yeah, so they're kind of mixing up a lot of uh, good keywords here that I can find. Now, next up is probably you wonder how to find the right keywords. So for example, uh, my clients have some content for youth volunteering. So they, they call the initiative Generation Give and the youth volunteering. But some people might search like students volunteering or high school volunteering or like volunteering for teens or volunteering for teenager. And then uh, what I like to use is called Google Search Console, okay? So uh, let's take a quick look here. So this is their uh, volunteer auto it's the search performance here. So let's go to performance here. And I like to um, check on average position, what the ranking is. So you see here, you see the, uh, the query. So people are searching volunteer auto. Of course, they're gonna go really high. The position is uh, number one on Google, like volunteer opportunities in Ottawa or volunteer opportunities Ottawa. So there, um, the click, uh, click rate is like almost 900 and the impression is 22.91 and the auto volunteer opportunities. So those uh, kind of the users are um, using those keyword uh, for searching. Okay, uh, the Tulip Festival Ottawa, 
because now in May, uh, there's a big festival um, coming up in Ottawa. So uh, lots of people are uh, looking for volunteers for to support this big event. So I'm going to just uh, dig in, like go to 100. So let's see. Now, if somebody type like volunteer, um, it doesn't have any specific location, right? So their website is going to be 12 ranking, number 12. So it's not really high, but that's okay because most of users who are looking for volunteer, they should have put their local city or address, not address, but the, the, the city uh, they live in, right? So what else here, like auto volunteering, you know, the rankings number two. So those are good. Uh, that's in French, by the way. Yeah, so another one is here, if you look at it. So that's um, volunteer out of a teenager. Okay, so that is, um, so the ranking is number three. Okay, so something like that. So let's let's take this as, as an example. Uh, teenager. So go to their website. Uh, here, I'm going to just go to. Oh, you know, I'm going to just go Google uh, volunteer on our youth. So, yeah, to come up this website. All right. Now, they don't have a lot of content in here. And then what about, um, so let's see, I'm gonna just uh, type teen. So there's no keyword in here. So my suggestion is, uh, you know, they should put some teenager or teens. Now they have this high school student here in the keyword. So that's good. Uh, their youth volunteering program. Uh, there's Ottawa opportunities. Um, volunteer Ottawa. So there's a good keyword here, but I think um, this content should be the richer uh, in my view. All right. So something like this, you have to kind of mix up uh, keyword and then uh, in order to find right keyword. So this is going to be um, helpful. So people are searching for, you know, volunteer opportunities, Ottawa for youth. No, their ranking is number four. So, you know, they can they can they can do better than that. So, you know, they have to write up more content. So instead of uh, uh, calling volunteer opportunities, some people search for volunteer job right instead. So we will, we probably want to mix it up as well. Oh here is uh, for students, right? So I see also, he says Canada. Canada is um, the next city uh, to Ottawa. Uh, so people are actually looking for Canada. I saw somewhere in Canada up here too, somewhere. See another one is here. So volunteer hours in Ottawa. So I know you get idea. So that is Google search console. So for my client, uh, their members should use Ottawa. Uh, in your case, you know, your local uh, city name, let's say Toronto, Montreal, New York, San Francisco, your, uh, your local town or city's name. And then, so I give you some example here. So this is a volunteer opportunity kind of single page or post uh, so the members can post their uh, volunteer opportunities. Now here's a volunteer location. You know, they should put some actual address. Uh, it's probably better. And then they don't have much content here. It doesn't say Ottawa, it's only like three places. And this is just part of email. This is part of organization name. My suggestion is, you know, volunteer delivery, delivery driver in Ottawa. You know, you should put the Ottawa or specific target audience. And here's another example here. So this volunteer opportunity is um, more, more for youth, helping youth actually. So uh, this is just a volunteer type. This is a category. 
and in the content here too. So they use youth, 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 youth. Uh, five times there are six youth in this content. And here like young adult here too. Um, but again, so you gotta probably mix up a different keyword, you know, teenager, like for example, uh, this like help, newcomer, um, like teenagers, right? Or maybe high school students, like here maybe you can do uh, supporting newcomer, um, students homework, you know, instead of youth, right? So you wanna kind of mix up a um, uh, different keyword when you're writing content. So also, uh, if you have some blog post or on my client case, they have some resources page, uh, they uh, use that because uh, the Google loves more content. If you update more frequently, um, it drives more traffic. So if you, um, I'm sure like if you're using WordPress website, uh, you can write a post uh, which are really uh, helpful to your users. Right, like for example, so they have some content here, 40 hours of community involvement, FAQ section. This is a great content. And also here, I mean, you can you can put the, some call to action and find out opportunities for high school student, you know, call to action, CTA. Now I can probably show you a quick demo here. Now this is their, um, uh, one of their resources uh, content you know, content is great. So let's say this is actually for 40 hours uh, community involvement. Those are more, more uh, high school students. So let's just quickly search saying like, you know, teenager. So there's no teenage as a content. Okay, so what about uh, student? Okay, so they have like student, that's great. And then uh, what about the high school? High school. Okay, so how many have two? Okay, uh, you know, you can put them more probably. So two contents, they're students. What about the youth? Okay, two, okay, good. It's, you know, they're kind of uh, mixing up uh, uh, keyword. Now this 40 hour requirement is uh, based on Ontario, uh, our province. Uh, I don't know uh, other states or province, probably different. Uh, requirements so let's see this is ontario okay so ontario so there's two okay so this content is pretty good you know they're mixing up uh, different good keywords right and then i'm sure that content is uh, pretty useful too now so this is geared towards teenager right and then uh, it's kind of nice to have you know click here to uh, find out the volunteer opportunities for youth. So uh, let's go to um, their website here and then search volunteer. And then so their website has some nice filter here and then uh, type of organization. Uh, so here the clientele maybe, uh, no, that's not clientele. So here opportunities suitable for, see that? Uh, for high school student, here we go. And click that and the apply filter. So those opportunities are suitable suitable for high school student between age uh, 14 to 18, right? So this is perfect opportunities. Yeah, so you get after filter this, you get this kind of URL. So I'm gonna just copy this and then go back to this and I'm gonna just uh, uh, go to hit the edit. And here, I mean, you can just say, at the end, maybe say, you know, uh, uh, maybe search volunteer opportunity for student, uh, maybe high school student. All right, so something like this and then uh, make it like you know the bigger text here and then link to you know the copy what I did just then hit apply and go ahead and hit update and then let's take a quick look here 
you know, likely, you know, people are reading this, uh, mostly probably student uh, who wants to know uh, how to earn 40 hours, uh, the volunteer commitment. And here's a link here and you can just, uh, you know, click here and then takes user to uh, volunteer opportunities for high school. It's already filtered, right? So this is kind of nice. So something like that, um, you can drive traffic and also set a call to action so that you, you can get the results. All right, so that was uh, opt optimizing body text and optimized title tag. Uh, again, once again, uh, so Google loves updated content. So if you have time, you know, keep updating. If the content is a bit outdated, update, okay? So, um, I get asked a lot, like when you develop the content, how do we kind of research what content is gonna drive the traffic? Um, this may be a, a good tool, it's called Google Trends. So for example, um, volunteer for uh, seniors. So you get something like that. Okay, volunteer for seniors. Now you can compare uh, volunteer uh, for uh, animals. All right, so kind of different trend. Um, yeah, for maybe All right, look at that. So it's kind of really high. You know, lots of people look, you know, looking for volunteer for high school student. And then another thing is maybe volunteer for um, Ukraine, let's say. So as you see volunteer for Ukraine, uh, you see uh, the big, you know, big jump here, right? People are looking for. So it's kind of, big, you know, this is kind of good you know, you, you don't, you shouldn't like write a content based on the hype or, uh, but this kind of gives you idea if you want to drive traffic. For example, in Canada, we receive um, uh, a number of refugees and then there's lots of organizations going to be supporting um, refugees. I think if you are promoting volunteers, so this is kind of great topic to write about how to uh, help uh, refugees from Ukraine, for example, you know, give uh, useful information to uh, to the users, right? So something like that. So you can kind of see uh, Google Trends, uh, for example. I found this is kind of nice tool uh, if you're looking for uh, some content uh, that are useful to your community. Uh, the next one is optimize images. All right. So uh, another another thing. So let's take a quick look here. Uh, there are lots of images on the website. Uh, for example, this website, uh, let's take a quick look here. So this is kind of back in the source code here. And then here you see uh, this alt, this is alternative text, it says the best volunteer in Ottawa. So they are putting a right uh, keyboard or alternative text, right? So you can do that. Uh, with WordPress. I can show you a quick demo. So for example, I'm going to put the uh, tiger and then right here you see the images. So click that. You see, you see lots of tigers image. Now, so those images, so they put some keyword or I think alternative text. So otherwise Google doesn't know the tiger image um, unless you tell you know, I t you tell, tell Google, this is a tiger image, right? So uh, so you can actually put the tag or alternative text uh, with WordPress. It's quite easy to do. So let's take a look at this website. Um, uh, we use the Elementor. So they have this image here. So let's take a look, uh, go to style. So that's the image. So you see here, um, so this is the image, but this alt text, right? So it's blank. So this is not really good. 
So you have to describe about this image. Now you don't need to, you know, jam the keyword. So, but you can just, you know, um, so this program is generation give youth volunteer cheerings. Uh, you can probably say uh, youth, um, you know, um, students, uh, some keyword in here. So that's good. And then just uh, hit save, or it's in this case, insert media. I think it's, it's actually saves automatically. So make sure that in this case, uh, the client's uh, image was, there was no alt alternative text, it was blank. So make sure you have to put that, at least you have to describe what the picture is about, okay? All right, so that was optimized image. Now the last one is to optimize the meta title and the meta description. Now, so this is Volunteer Ottawa when you type it Google. So this is what's come up, coming up. And then on the top here, the Volunteer Ottawa home, that's called meta title. And the blue one here is meta description. So usually between 150 to 160 words. Now as you see, it says recent volunteer opportunity, fundraising volunteer, Abbeyfield house. Now this is because I show you why. Uh, go to Volunteer Ottawa's uh, website here. So usually Google picks up uh, the word or sentences on the top here. So on this home page. I'm, I think it says recent volunteer opportunity. So this text and then whatever the most uh, opportunities on the list here on the top three is going to be on the Google search meta description. Okay, so it doesn't really look good, right? So probably what you want to say is something like that. What about this? You know, volunteer Ottawa, number one volunteer search in Ottawa. So this is a meta title, how's that? And then what if you switch to the number one volunteer site in Ottawa, search over 500 qualified volunteer opportunities from supporting refugees to seniors in Ottawa, Canada, Orleans, Gatineau, and more. All right, so something like this. It looks more appealing. So let me show you how to do this. You can change that uh, quite easily. So uh, let me just log in here and go to the back end. Uh, so I'm going to just hit edit this page. Oh, one thing is um, uh, you need um, a WordPress plugin called a, a Yoast SEO. All right. So uh, then this comes up here now. So we already changed this. So as you see here, here's a like site title, which is volunteer Ottawa. And then there's separator, uh, there's kind of, uh, I think this hive, I guess. And you can just say whatever you want to. You know, in this case, I put the number one volunteer search in Ottawa, and that's meta title. And then right here, it's called meta description. As I said, uh, I think 150 to 160 words. So you can type uh, whatever you want to, something really appealing to users, right? So that um, uh, you want you want to encourage users to click. So now we change this. Uh, it might take a couple of hours to actually uh, get implemented to Google. So, but let's go to google.com. That's okay. And then type one, oops. And if you search Volunteer Ottawa, now you see it's Volunteer Ottawa and number one volunteer uh, search in Ottawa and then uh, here is the new meta description it says the number of volunteer outside in Ottawa search over 500 qualified volunteer opportunities from supporting refugees to seniors in Ottawa, Canada, Orleans, do do do. All right. So that is um, how to edit meta title and meta tag like that. So all right, so um, yeah, so we covered those five things today. Uh, optimizing slug, optimizing body text, and optimizing title tag, 
optimizing images and optimizing meta title and meta description. So once again, as you see uh, throughout my presentation today, this is not really difficult. You don't really hire a CEO company to do that. So if you if you already have WordPress website, uh, you can implement today or tomorrow. So that's it for today. It was a short presentation and then I hope this is helpful to you and I'll see you next time.